Let's create a 3D flip intro animation. In this case, we're going to use this DaVinci Resolve logo. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. If you already want to do it in the edit page, you can use the 3D Rise plugin or the DVE plugin. But in this case, I'm going to show you Infusion. So we're going to open this Infusion and here you have the two methods that I'm going to show you. The first method is using a 3D plane. So we're going to we're going to drag a 3D plane in here, connect our media in, press 2 on the 3D plane, and we're already going to add a 3D renderer that we can then turn into a media out. And we, don't, we can already see this on our composition. So to create these on the 3D space, we're going to use this setup. So on frame zero, we're going to set the rotation of the X value to negative 270, and we're going to create a keyframe. We're going to go one second forward, so 24 frames in this case. Now we're going to set this X to zero. That's going to create a linear spin for our element right here. Now, if you want to make this better or cooler, go to the spline here and then adjust the curve right here, pressing F and then T. And if you ease out all the way to zero, then it will already start like a little bit faster and then come back to normal like that. You can play around with this and add more things to it, as I always say. And that is how you can use the image plane 3D to create that little spinning animation. Now, if we want to use the DVE, the process is pretty similar. All we have to do is press Ctrl and Spacebar, find a DVE element. Get, over, get rid of that there. We're going to press 2 so that we can see it on screen. And here, we're going to adjust the rotation of the X value. So we're going to go to frame 0, set these two. Let's do negative, negative 630. That's going to be double the speed. And then a 24. Well, first of all, we have to create a keyframe at 0. Now at frame 24, we're going to bring this back to 0. The higher the number or lower the number you go, the more spins it's going to make, right? Press F here on the spline tool again, and then adjust it, ease in and out however you want. And now you have that spinning animation. So let's check it out in the edit page. It looks fine, but if you want to add a little bit extra, what you can do is fade in this element right here. And now you have that cool fade in animation also at the same time that the spinning is happening. One last thing that you can do here is in the DVE section, if you go to the settings, you can add motion blur to these and adjust it. And then let's take a look at these. That looks pretty cool as well. So I hope that you have learned something new and gotten a little bit better at knowing how Fusion works and how you can create stuff. This video might be a little bit more for beginners, but good to know, right? So yeah, that is today's tip. Come back tomorrow for more.